Welcome back to the studio segment, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ESL India Premiership Summer Season Masters League. And it has been brought to you by one by HP HyperX and Intel. Presented by the lovely uh, people at Norton Game. I don't know why. Why? I'm... I want to say a word and that word escapes me at the last moment and then I say something else entirely. I was talking to Adi and I was going to say shut up and I said shut you and I don't know what is wrong with me. But uh, okay, first of all, huge shout out to uh, Archisman Fet Pradhan and Adi, AD1 Shah who cast uh, our CS games relentlessly. Yeah. Wonderful people. Though Adi is chilling in Bombay, Fet is chilling somewhere else. They got nice lives, dude. People got nice lives. But moving on, what's nice? Let me tell you what's nice. Uh, A, it's CSGO time. B, it's an amazing CSGO time. C, it's a Malhar versus Portal Esports. And G, yes. Portal Esports after yesterday's game. That teeth clenching game. Yeah. That 12 nil scoreline, which went to like an end game of 16 13. Yeah. I expect fireworks from Portal Esports. I will again support them. In fact, in fact, before we talk about anything else, let's let's start with the team introductions because I don't want to waste any further time there. Let's let's start with Malhar first. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Malhar for you guys. Uh, Anti, Dotenberg, Shabby, and Gang. There, pretty interesting team. Pretty yeah. interesting team. In fact, a lot of people say that if given the apt amount of time in game, these team, this team can topple you away, irrespective of how good you are. Definitely. I mean, every team in Master League uh, could be given the same line. But huh? uh, talking about Malhar and their interesting lineup, they do sit as of now ninth on the leaderboard. They've been Sadly. able to secure two victories, but they've also faced defeated four times. And uh, today is one of those days where also Portal, as we talk about them, they sit fifth on the board. They've had quite a mixed run in the ESL India Premiership. I mean, they take down the big entity gaming and then they face a loss to Intensity Pune 5. And today, looking at them, I really don't know how this team is going to play because they have had the highs, but they have also seen they've the lows. Had, yeah, they've seen the lows. And uh, they are the top contenders from Pakistan. So I'm hoping to see them perform exceedingly well today. Always when you lose a match, you come back stronger the next day and you're ready to really, really show where you stand. This also comes down to how the map beta goes to me. Indeed, indeed. In fact, uh, <coughs> talking about the team from Pakistan, Portal Esports, I totally am going to take it upon myself to say this out loud since nobody else would say it, I will be the harbinger of this information. I am looking forward to host Portal Esports in India. Definitely. I mean, come on, it's about time. Like, like just like, you know, cricket, we've hosted Pakistan so many times for our World Cups. Done, cricket is so last year. Let's bring in the future of sports. We're talking about esports here. It's about time Pakistan got hosted by our country. It's about time we got some firecrackers rolling in on our, on our country's land. And yeah. people should see how great both the country's teams are when it comes to esports. It's not just India, it's not just them. Both, them. both of them are at par. Sure, I would love to host them. In fact, let's take a look at Portal Esports. All right, the team from uh, next door. When I say next door, I intend uh, Pakistan there. Pretty interesting team. Some really good gameplay. In fact, yeah. HSB, got, gotta say, gotta say, last game, HSB, buddy, you won over my heart. I mean, I mean, I, it's been quite some time since I saw some really interesting CSGO, and you were one of those few people who I'm going to mention now, hence for, henceforth, Whenever I have to mention great players. Also, the commendable part about this team is they do play with a ping difference. 
but it doesn't even once feel when they play the game that it, it is a bother to them or they make it a deal or they cause any issues. But as for the smallest thing, we kind of have this thing that we'll say, no, it was the lag or it was we couldn't aim properly. But Portal has never complained about that. And as a team, that is really commendable. And they don't give them. up. They don't give up. A 12 0 scoreline will will make yeah. any of the strong teams think twice. True. They never thought twice. They went for it. They knew it was do or die, and they were going to do it. Yes. Before before like dying out in the game, they would have done it, and they did it. Yeah. Respect for that. In fact, Mapic Veto is on right now. Let's see what's in store for us. I'm pretty sure it's Inferno. Yes. <laughs> it has to be. Uh, okay. Point to production. Let's scan the map pick veto. Let's just say it's Inferno, unless and until it's a map change. It's easier. Because then I don't have to say, hey, Mirage, Nuke, and Dust2 got banned by Malhar, and PES banned Overpass, Trade, and Cash, Lisa, and Inferno. I don't have to say that. It was it was like a minute and a half. In fact, you know what, while we're at it, let's make you see the map first. Inferno. This map is not like any other traditional CSGO map. It does not revolve heavily around mid-control. The two most important areas of control are the apartments and banana. You lose control of either one of these areas and you're going to have a bad time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Inferno for you guys. Uh, I have zero idea why would you label a map Inferno when there's no fire. Like, yeah, Inferno is meant for something like fiery, you know, like it's yeah. blazing fire. But this is a totally different thing. I think Adi and uh, Fed are so fed up of casting the same map over and over again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one day Adi is going to lose it and he's going to like get like people at ESL and everybody like ban this map. Like, enough. This yeah. map is going to be made the national map of India and that is going to be bad. Yeah. Because you you should know uh, angie like there was a time when dust 2 was like the go to map yeah. now this is becoming the go to map and adi is not really liking it much but moving on moving on like i've said this this map is a strat heavy map you got to either take control of banana or the aparts if you fail to do so or fail to exercise control you are going to suffer defeat a heavy defeat or at least some heavy casualties if a well-timed, well-placed uh, rotation comes by your way. But right now, Archishman Fetish Pradhan and uh, Aditya Edivan Shah are going to be casting this game. So over to you, gentlemen. Take it forward on your favorite map. Thank you, Vagish and Zara. Yes, it is time for Malhar Esports. Actually, it's Team Malhar versus Portal Esports. It's another India-Pakistan game, and it's another game on Inferno. This will be the 18th Inferno, by the way, out of 42 games that have already happened in the Premiership. I'm Adi, and I'm joined by the ever-jovial Fett. Fett, how are you doing, buddy? Stab me in the eyes, Adi. I cannot watch another Inferno game. Um, anyway. <laughs> Ever jovial it seems, but proud. He will get the opening pick, but he'll get caught on the retreat. Antidote hightails it out of trouble. It's still a 4v4. Scratch that. Trans picks up Blackhawk, all right? So it's a 4v3. Very fast pistol round. Right off the bat, kills back and forth. And now, Malha, uh, Pess fall back, and they are regrouping towards the B bomb side. Shabby, the lone defender. Yep, a really quick take by PES towards the middle. They got a couple of picks and now they've fallen back to B. They did this a lot against uh, Intensity Pune 5 yesterday as well. The B hit is coming in now. The smoke to a CD spawn. The flash. Anikal gets the first frag. The substitute right now. Anikal gets another and it's completely shut down by Anikal and Shabby. Three kills for Anakin. Anikal. Anakin, Anakin, apparently. Yes, Star Wars. Woohoo! Technically, but Anakin does have three kills to his name. It's called the Prequel Saga. <laughs> wow, that is that. Wow, I mean, I'm not even. Um, uh, let's not. But <laughs> anyway, but that was quite a decent hold coming out by Anakil, who is the substitute, by the way. Uh, Poker Ref seems to seems to have gone missing, who is also their captain. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how Muller adapts to that as well, and the aggression now coming in by Muller. I like this, but HSP with the one dig. Saying nope, you do not aggress against us, baby. We know how we know how it goes, and 
And yeah, but I like this, by the way, that uh, that Malhar really wanted to aggress, but I wish the crowd had somebody with him to trade that kill. And uh, anyway, now, again, the pace getting slowed down That uh, once the PES has gotten the first frag. Yeah, I mean, Proud and Anti both were rushing down mid, but the moment HSB's Deagle rang out, Anti was just like, nope. And he turned tail and ran. Anyway, in the meantime, it seems that Blackhawk has found Trans yet again. It's a 4v4, make that a 4v3, this time in favor of the CTs. Antidote finding faint, but again, it is a B hit coming in. And a kill on the edge of the smoke finds Pokemonster. That's one danger man taken out of the equation. Now all is on Hasib and Criminal. HSB and Criminal, both of them are phenomenal. Uh, you know, they've got phenomenal firepower on their side. Can they make something happen? Anakil chipping away at HSB's HP while Criminal just bides his time towards Carpet with the C4. But Antidote lies in wait like a coiled viper right next to Motorbox. And he's heard Criminal jump into the pit. Antidote gets the C4 control. HSB on 17 HP seems to be a bit lost, trying his very best to recover some weapon. And he indeed manages to get, to get his hands on the MP9 and Anakil gets caught with his pants way below his ankles but it doesn't matter hsb is going to get double peaked and shabby with the pro 90 is going to pepper poor hsb with a lot of bullets that kill actually by hsb on anakil was kind of important because anakil had a he kind of dropped a lot of utility and including the kit as well so that's going to be quite a heavy reinvestment for him and he's not even going to get a kit for it on this round as well but, I mean, I'm a little surprised that he's gone for the FAMAS. Like, you could have gone for another SMG there, especially an MP9 or something, because barely $1,200, and if you get two kills, it pays for itself. But, yeah, I mean, I, I really want Malhar to, uh, to continue with that aggression. And, yeah, they are really continuing with it right now as well. But I, was, I, I mainly meant, like, in the gun rounds, I really hope that they continue with this aggression, because that is the correct way to play uh, Inferno. You're not supposed to give you give the terrorists any quarter, no space on the map whatsoever. So let's hope for the best. Proud getting the first frag, but HSP picking up Blackhawk as well. Proud's gonna get another as well though. It's an eco round, but there is one deagle on HSP, which uh, which obviously we know that can cause a lot, a lot of damage. Yeah, that deagle, HSB's deagle. Throughout this Master Series, it has been it has been a stuff of legends and Shabby pops up, gets pain. He's just gonna press W and left mouse button, but HSB again with the hand cannon. Almost getting Antidote as well, but Antidote enabled, uh, able to secure the final two kills, recovers the P90 as well. Like, now a lot of people cringe at the side of the P90, but that weapon, this gun, when wielded by a professional, can definitely devastate any opposition because like it's 50 bullets of pure carnage that gets released the moment you hit that left mouse button and chabby so far he's been using it to quite a deadly effect can he continue his reign of terror with the automatic awp as i like to call it well it isn't that powerful but sure have you seen ox sure. play with that gun he, <laughs> he melts servers single-handedly with the p90 AKS is retired and washed up just like me. Pokemonster <laughs> is going to get wrecked by Antidote. And uh, I like that aggression. The JW position, I like to call that one. And uh, he gets the first frag. Shabby just about makes it behind makes it back behind the black wall. And oh my god, Shabby, you're right. He just loves that P90. And it's basically a laser for him right now. And again, the man advantage is, meant, is, is doubled, in fact, this round. And I like this by Malhar. I really, really like this. Finally, some good Inferno. Adi, aggression on the CT side. It's like our prayers have been answered. Mulher playing it like it's meant to be played. They're aggressing early round, almost always securing the man advantage, and then they're going turtle. And that too, they have trade potential almost every point of early contact. Like right now, the setup towards mid, there's a it's a decent bait setup between Anakil and Antidote. And even the B-bomb side, there's a very good crossfire with utilities ready to be sprung the moment Shabby makes contact. There are no flashes onto PES's side, though. They do have three smoke grenades, but the counter flash by Blackhawk is decent. It pushes the terrorist back. And now finally, okay, that was a, that was a team flash by Shabby and a sub flash. 
But anyway, the first frag does go to HSB. It's all up to Blackhawk now. He does get the first frag. It, both the players are stuck towards barbecue. Now Blackhawk's gonna get another one as well. And Anidote rotates in to back up his comrade. And he's gonna rip Trance's head off. And that's a good hold again coming in by Muller. And I mean, they wouldn't have even lost Shabby there. And it's not even that big a deal because Shabby only dropped a P90. Yeah, and now Shabby upgrades to the M4. I think he might miss his 50 bullet harbinger of death, but an M4 is any day more respectable <laughs> than a P90 in my books. As in, the you know, in the ode to Pug Stars, oh. as I say that, Antidote and Proud, like simultaneously, they're just killing everybody. Proud gets trans, Proud gets faint. And now it's all down to Criminal in a 1v5 in a complete, in an eco more or less armor pistol. But Criminal does manage to get the kill. He does have armor to play with and tags down Anakil to 15 HP. Anakil needs to be careful. He's dying. Oh, Kobe. Nope. Oh, oh. Anakil surviving on 10 HP, which is a bit mystifying because from my POV, that nade literally went off like five feet from his face. He should be dead, Adi. Valve, please fix your nades. I honestly, I honestly have been noticing though in like the last week, the nades have been working a lot better. But maybe Blade did point out that you know Inferno is a bigger map, so the clip, uh, sorry, a newer map, so the clipping issues that happen in the more you know in the more aged maps, let's just, let's say like Mirage and Dust Two, well the old Dust Two is doesn't really happen in this map. And again, there's a little bit of aggression coming out by Malhar. The Molotov is well placed, but uh, unfortunately. It's not gonna tick over towards Faint. Shabby wants to peek this. That flashbang is absolutely perfect. He's gonna hunt down Faint. He's been taken down again, and ooh, that's a, that's a little bit of team damage coming in. But they're gonna get the man advantage nonetheless, and they're gonna fall back. Criminal again, Molotov out of position. The aggression by Muller, it's absolutely unrelenting right now. I mean, HSB and his friends have no counter to this unprecedented aggression that Malhar are bringing to the table and they're not they're not giving they're not letting up they're just as you said it is completely unrelenting it's like a hurricane that keeps battering them over and over and over again and uh, PES they're just capitulating under the sheer force of number crowd he spotted Poke Monster still gonna manage to land the headshot through the woodwork and try back thanks to that Molotov and look at that Blackhawk through the smoke Continuing his spray down, and HSV finds himself blink of an eye. Trans left all alone to try and make something of this. And he does get one frag, but he's instantly traded by Antidote. Again, another clean round coming in. They've had four players alive in the last three rounds, and look at the bank. Look at the bank on Malhar. It's it's literally amazing right now, and. Uh, Fet, I think a couple of audio issues are coming in from your side. Please fix. Mm. Just like Valve, just like you asked Valve to fix, please fix. Ah, it is network lag. It can't really be helped. There's a lot of construction being uh, like going around in my area. Wires are being cut and you know <laughs> rerouted everywhere. So a little bit of loss might creep in from time to time. It can't really be helped. But fi finally, finally, we see. Portal with a little bit of aggression of their own, and they have I don't know, after six rounds, they've managed to get the man advantage from Malhar. And I don't think they should be going for this retake. They might want to set up for some exits, but this retake looks a little bit out of you know the realms of possibility at this point. Yeah, pro uh, pro evolution soccer, apparently. But no, Portal Esports <laughs> surprising. Malhar with their with their pace, in fact, but Shabby is going to get an op off of HSB and he's going to try to save it now. But yeah, I, I agree. They should have probably set up for the for the exits and completely wiped out uh, the T side because they could have been instantly reset the next round. A little bit of a misplay by the three Malhar by the remaining three Malhar players, but it does look like Shabby's going to escape with this op and his life. So that is going to help their bank, which is already pretty pretty good. And yeah, I mean, uh, Portal Esports with that second mid to mid rush, right? Completely unexpected by Malhar. They had no, I mean, yeah, they, they had three players towards the banana, right? So when well, the two players at A fell up, fell down, uh, there was nothing much left in that round. Final, I think Portal, finally Portal figuring it out that Malhar are going very heavy towards banana early round. So they'd made the 
right call. They went, they all went alt mid, and the two players in A, they just got overwhelmed by the sheer presence of numbers that Portal threw at them. And that's and called for the switch up. And look at this B rush coming in almost instantly. But what a great flashback! Everybody's blind. And everybody's dead towards the B bomb site in the blink of an eye. It's a 3v3. Well, two, two and a half v3 because criminal, let's be honest, 17 HP. He's got one foot in the grave already. But it looks like they will be able to secure the B bomb site. Lots of Molotovs being tossed, lots of flashbangs. But in the meantime, Proud has managed to get two kills out of nothing. And now it's all down to criminal. He's got 17 HP, like I said, the last player <laughs> remaining. He'd already gotten a foot in the grave, but somehow he managed to survive. And Malhar. They just dealt Portal's economy the most severe blow possible. They won right after Portal take a round off them, which means hard reset coming in. Although three players can buy up, so it is going to be a force buy coming out from Portal. Things are looking dire. E even when they think that they've got a read on what Malhar are doing, they somehow managed to pull a fresh trick right out of the bag and Portal find themselves... Well, square one. Yep. They are on the force buy, though. They have gone to the three AKs and two Deagles. And HSB has the Deagle. It's as good as an AK, probably even better than an AK in his hands. And I, I do want to point out, by the way, Shabby and Anakul, they did a lot over there. In fact, Shabby specifically, he did not peek out from the sandbags position until Anakul pop flashed for him. And just those little things, right? Got Shabby the two frags and got Malhar back into that round when they were about to be overwhelmed. So just the little things are really on point by Muller right now. But the first frag in this round coming in the way of P of PES, Pokemonster Monster picking up Antidote. thing is, yeah. right now, Arch is a bit exposed and Anakil coming in. Oh, okay then. He just walked into that deagle. Yeah. Proud really wants that frag, and Proud is really going to get that frag as well. Spotting out the shoulder, but Portal, uh, but Pokemonster comes out of the, of, the, of the balcony at Apartments and takes out two of the players, and Trans with the Lurk finishes off that round. And in fact, even Malhar now is, is sort of reset. Uh, two of their players are going to have to force buy into this. That's just the CT economy for you on C in CSGO, folks. Be careless for a couple of rounds and boom, all that money, all that moolah, all that dough disappears. It's like, you know, the Great Depression all over again for Malhar. No money. They'll have to force into this and go for broke. This is the round for them. If they lose it, Portal actually have a decent chance of posting a pretty good T-side score. And it's surprising, right? Yesterday, Portal's T-side was so good. Although, uh, granted, it was aided by the fact that Pune 5 CT side was more or less non-existent. Like, for Portal could just have been running around in an empty server with the bomb for all the presence that Pune 5 showed in their CT side. <laughs> yeah. And Malhar are definitely stepping the game up. They're showing Portal that, guys, we aren't someone you, you know, to be trifled with. We have a CT side. We have a game plan. We've thought about what we're going to do, and we're going to do it. Yep. And Mother would have probably even noticed what Invictus did against Portal Esports and taken a few leaps out of their book. But anyways, after a little bit of a technical timeout, uh, there were a few ping issues for the players. We're back. It's 72. Mother still in the lead. And now again, Portal Esports getting the first frag, getting the opening pick onto Anakul this time. HSB at Banana. And that's gonna... Portal Esports knows this, that now there's gonna be a reaction coming in by Malhar as well. They need to get. Uh, they need to e at least equalize that uh, that disadvantage. If if not, get a man advantage in their own case. And Blackhawk seems to have timed out. No, I think he's back. He's yeah. back. He's running around, jumping around. Proud wow. does get the frag on the Pokemon Monster as well. <laughs> I mean, okay, there's a little bit of confusion right now. Mother wants to call for the dot stop, but it's not going to happen because the first frag had already gone towards Portal Esports. And uh, Trans is going to pick up Shabby with a knife out. Uh, I have, I mean, that's just it's absolutely silly. I mean, they should really know the rules. Uh, but Blackhawk, ooh, spot out Trans. Ooh, he's going to be traded out by PHSB, though. He's going to peek out. 
It's gonna get the back. Criminal is gonna come in and gonna get the spray down on the antidote, but the transfer is not good enough. Proud's gonna pick up Criminal. And uh, he's just gonna try to save this AK-47 now. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, this, this round was a little bit of a... It was a comedy, actually, this round. Yeah, unfortunate there for Malhar. They did have a player timeout in in the middle, but he he did he was able to overcome his network issues midway through the round. But the problem is that the first kill had already come in, and a, as the rulebook says, if damage has been dealt, you cannot restart a round. And I think it is the you know, it's it's a fair it's a fair rule in my opinion. It's it, it's basically something to go by anyway. Proud does find HSB. That's another gun taken away from Portal Esports. Their economy is still not being allowed to flourish. But Malhar's is now quite definitely in the dumpster. So this is going to be an eco. But before that, we are going to pause the game. And, uh, well. While they discuss why, uh, why Portal Esports didn't uh, oblige with their dot stop as well. With, their, with the agreement that the round would be replayed. And uh, yeah, they're going to go in as well now. Malhar is probably going to call for a tactical timeout as well. Oh, it's Portal Esports who've called for the tactical timeout, in fact. That's a bit of a surprise. I think someone's VPN subscription ran out or something. I, I, I want to know what's, what VPN do they use that uh, during every game, somebody or the other's uh, subscription runs out. I really want to know. Like, I, I've only found monthly subscriptions or daily subscriptions. I've never seen like hourly subscriptions where they run out, right? So, I mean, we used to use them all the time, by the way, when we used to, uh, when I used to play for Brutality, we used to play for, uh, play on ESCA servers, right? And uh, for some reason, we would get 60 to almost everything in Singapore, except for ESCA Singapore servers, where we would get 200. So we had to use a VPN as well to bring it down to 70 MS. And uh, talking about ping anyways, by the way, Portal Esports ping is about for at least four of their players. Well, three of their players is uh, is about twenty to thirty ms lesser than it was yesterday against Intensity Pune Five, so it remains to be seen if that's going to help them in any way. I mean, yeah, ping is a big factor when it comes to professional esports because, and it was uh, quite evident yesterday. A lot of the portal players seemed, you know, to react a bit slower than what you'd expect from them, and I think one could attribute that you know delay in reaction time to uh, the ping that they were experiencing but well all said and done network issues aside pokemon so he's going to be marking for that apartment push and it does seem like shabby and proud are gonna be holding aggressively and that's a really nifty boost pokemon so needs to be careful like if he's not he's gonna get his head clean ripped off his shoulders the moment he peeks that smoke the question is will he be Will he be going peeking? The thing is, I, I also like the fact that, you know, Proud and Malhar have the audacity to go for this aggro play because they know that they have to make the plays right now. And Antidote just making a lot of noise towards Boiler and Criminals. Like, you know, I'm not going to buy into that. And the double new box setup. Will they fall for it? Ah, unfortunately. Again, if he had, if Blackhawk had any other weapon than just the USP, maybe something could have come from that. But unfortunately, it was that hard reset round, the eco round. But not all is lost. They've got two rifles. Proud should be looking to save the AK-47. And with Shabby on an AK-47 as well, they actually have... They're looking at a pretty decent buy going into the next round, Adi. Yeah, I like that by Portal Esports as well, by the way. As soon as they realized where Proud's AK-47 was, they're like, let's go B. And they, they just ran into that, so why not? And yeah, Malhar is going to have a decent buy if they can stick, if they can hold these two AKs. But Portal Esports, they're on the hunt. And right now, and there you go, Proud is taken down and Shabby's going to be taken down as well. And I think Malhar now, they shouldn't really force into this. And I, I would like them to eco once more, but they're going to force into this anyway. They're going to be a little bit of little bit short on utility, and in fact, two for masters as well. No like, lack of a distinct lack of M4s basically, and uh, just one incendiary on there. But if they do play aggressive like they have for much of this game, uh, it, it can work out. The low utility buy can work out. And considering, <coughs> excuse me, considering that they're really going for the aggression, the low utility buy may have worked out, but. 
it looks like they've uh, neutered the early aggression this time around and are going to be playing way more passive toward both the A and the B bomb side. The only place where there is some, you know, enterprise being taken is towards mid with Antidote rattling off a couple of clips into the smoke. But look at Pokemon. So look at where he's already is. It's 1 minute, 18 seconds left and he's going to be pushing carpet. But Blackhawk, he's got Pokemonster's number. He's holding an offish angle uh, on balcony. Pokemon. So if he goes peeking, if he overextends, he's going to feel it. Because Blackhawk will not be dropping the ball on this one. At least should not be dropping the ball on this one. Two for Masters though, Adi. That's a sight that you never want to see. I'm, yeah. I know that for a fact. Yep, I agree. And especially now this really, really... Turtle setup coming in by Malhar as well. They do have two players up really close at middle, but it's just a fake. It's a nice boost and everything, but it's a fake. And PES is going to execute upon the B bomb side. And it's all down to uh, Anakil and Shabby again to lock this bomb side down. But Antidote, he is rotating. The call has come in that they do think that it's a B play. And there you go. The call is going to come in. It's definitely a B play at this point. The, cup, the smokes have come in. The flashbangs are going to rain in pretty soon, but nope. Looks like Portal Esports just wants to go in dry and Shabby's going to get taken down. But Anakil is good for one kill, so is Antidote. An equal trade coming in right now, the spam. Wow, Wall no banks. one caught any damage in that huge spray battle. Reminds Trans, me, in fact. Yeah, tra uh, Antidote does get taken down. It's a 5, it's a 2v3. So very difficult to you know actually retake on the b bomb site with a man disadvantage especially as the cts trash that, that faint yeah he looked away at the time and trout does get the frag but trance isn't there for the trade and blackhawk's there for the immediate trade as well he doesn't have a kit though blackhawk and that's unfortunate for him pokemon so it's just gonna bite his time and peek out and there you go he's gonna get the frag gonna win, gonna win the 1v1 against blackhawk and it's another round on the board for portal esports now five rounds and I'll tell you, it's it's already because, like like I said, there was no aggression. The turtle set up, even with the three players at the B bomb side, it's really really hard to hold. Yeah, the double turtle. I mean, I I understand why teams in India are going for the double turtle. We saw it to, saw it used to great effect by Cloud Nine at the Boston Majors, uh, where they'd put where they'd play both bomb sites from the sites, not really aggressing. But what teams haven't realized is that it was a mixture of aggression, controlled aggression, and the fact that they generally tended to play four players towards the A bomb side, two towards Delta, two towards Arches, and now Pokemon, so he's just going to pad his match IR stats, racking up some eco frags. Blackhawk next up on the chopping block. He does have a Deagle, and he's just as proficient with that weapon as HSB is. And Shabby steps up to the batting plate and Shabby gets put down. Although he does do a lot of damage onto Pokemon. He's down to 16 HP. Blackhawk could be, you know, looking to pick up any straggling frags onto an unsuspecting Pokemon. It all comes down to timing. And there we go, Pokemon. Getting shot in the back as he lines up a flashbang. But both Anakil and Blackhawk are going to go towards the B-bomb site. So... Yeah, the gamble isn't going to pay out for them right now. And PES has sneaked their way into the A-bomb site unnoticed. And, uh, I mean, yeah, now, <laughs> Muller and uh, both the players on Muller, they should really try to get some economic damage in. Because even if, if you look at the scoreboard route, oh, there isn't going to be any. Trans is waiting for it. He's going to spray down Anakil and Blackhawk. But PES's money now, finally, it looks good. But just the round prior to this, it wasn't really that good. So some economic damage could have helped. But now, Malhar, the full buy comes in. 4M4s, all the utility they could want. And Antidote, the star player in Malhar, is on the AWP. And I really, really hope he goes back to that JW position and takes out Pokemonster, because Pokemonster has been quite a thorn in the side of Malhar uh, in the past few rounds. And that has primarily happened because of the, la of the lack of any apartment control. It seems like Malhar only have an aggro set to a uh, set play towards Banana, but uh, they have this. They're in the in the habit of ignoring apartment control completely. I mean, that's that's the sacrifice you have to make, right? You either aggress Banana or apartments, but better teams will have set plays for both so that they can mix it up. An antidote. That's a huge kill on the bomb carrier. That too. And in the meantime, Blackhawk finds another kill onto Criminal. 
and this this round has gone horribly wrong for um, HSB and his merry band of men so far at least. The pop flash though does catch up Antidote, but Antidote is still gonna get the frag while Blackhawk does fall to Pokemon Monster. Now Antidote is bleeding out, but it is a two v four situation and. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's just PES again. They're gonna bide their time. They're gonna try to get get a pick somewhere else before they can hit the A bomb site. Actually, and Trance gonna get dinked down by Proud. He's gonna get annihilated by Proud. In fact, and the and Pokeballs are being being pre fired by Anakin. I like that. I like that. Right after the flash was seen, but for Anakin, he's gonna overstep his bounds and he's gonna get taken out by Pokemon. So who is down on forty one points of health? Though? Shabby holding the angle. Mouse wheel. This is why you don't use mouse wheel for jump shabby <laughs> and uh pokemon so is gonna try to go in for the hunt he is gonna be taken down by shabby though and uh three players alive for malhar it's not gonna be the end of the world but it is gonna be it is gonna be a little rough for the economy because uh they're not gonna get all the all the utility they want into this last round yeah that is uh that is a shame because malhar's fantastic aggression is centered around the utility play Towards Banana, the Molotovs, the Nades, the Flashes, the Smokes, all playing an instrumental role in securing them that map control. And if they're not going to have it, they're going to struggle to do it like we saw a couple of rounds back when Portal actually picked that round up. Portal, on the other hand, they're going to have everything along with the Kitchen Sink to throw at Malhar in an effort to actually secure the final round of the first half. And again, Portal Esports, they haven't really, I mean, the one round they caught on to it where they just went fast middle. When this banana play has been happening, it's always been three players on Malhar's side. Another fast A play could have worked out for them, but instead they're again going really slow with the boiler control. No apartments control this time. In fact, they've come out of middle right now. Antidote gets the first frag, and then he's going to fall back as well. They did try it, honestly, but unfortunately it didn't work out. And now Trout's going to be taken down by Pokemonster as well. Antidote trying to get the trade antidote he's gonna get taken down pokemonster really like i said he's the thorn in the side of that that a bomb site right now faint though gonna get shot in the back by blackhawk but it's, it's not gonna do much but the cts right now they could have caught off the bomb carrier they're gonna caught a, caught, get the uh, faint though getting caught with a nade out and the c4 is coming in from the apartment's position though hsb he's timed out seems to be timed out yeah the bomb plant is going to come in, so as of now, it's a 2v3 situation, but Malhar doesn't know that. In fact, Malhar does know that now. HSB has timed out of the server as well, so that's going to give them a little bit of... A little bit of uh, high, <laughs> criminal. He's going to get two frags onto Shabby and Blackhawk. He's going to shut down that retake all by his, uh, himself. Anakil now in a 1v2 situation. He's going to get Pokemonster. He's going to get... He's going to make Anakil... Sorry, uh, criminal miss his shot as well, and a criminal... He's, gonna get, he's not going to be able to do it. Anakil, 1v2 win against against the odds, honestly. He's going to get the defuse as well. 9-6 to six in the favor of Mal Malhar. And I have no idea how Anakil pulled that one out of his ass. I mean, I feel really bad for Criminal there. The one shot that he needed to land to win that round, he missed. While he landed every other shot he took in that previous round. A heroic round coming out from Criminal, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. And with that, Malhar looking at a pretty comfortable lead going into the second half. Now, all they need to ensure is that they take the pistol. And from there on, it should be relatively smooth sailing. Because, and I think you'd agree with me here, uh, it is exponentially harder to play the CT side with such high ping as compared to the T side. I mean, comparatively, it's not easy to play either side at such pings, but I think comparatively, it's easier to play the T side than the CT side uh, with high ping. Yeah, I agree. And that, that's only the case if you are on the T side are controlling the pace, to be honest, because uh, if you're not controlling the pace, you can't really, uh, you know, you can't really take advantage of those pings. Like I explained yesterday as well on stream, uh, Counter-Strike's netcode works in such a way that uh, the interpolation... It'll make you, uh, as a T, if you have a higher ping, it'll give you the advantage. You'll see the CT, uh, assuming you're a T, way before you know the CT can see you. So again, now Malhar, of course, is going to get the advantage of that because Portal Esports, generally on the CT side, you hold angles. You don't really aggress. But if Infernos played the correct way, 
it really doesn't matter because you'll be the ones set, trying to set the pace on the CD side. But anyways, HSV is back into the server. We're going to get into this pistol round. HSV is trying to trying to aggressively peek, taking advantage of his ping, but he's not going to see anyone. And uh, Malhar now. Kind of, oh, if, if they really picked up the pace at, at middle, it would have worked out for them because, in fact, even now, there are only two players for Portal Esports on the A-bomb side. Faint is rotating in, but the hit is coming towards Faint's side. The wraparound... There is no smoke. Faint He's going to peek out right about now on the back, but Proud and Antidote have gotten a few frags, and Faint is not able to do anything from the back with the USP. It's something about the USP, man. Yeah, it's just... It's like, it's like a very fickle friend. Either it's going to be your bestest pal and is going to just land on the heads of your enemies like a homing missile fired from a UAV, or it's going to be like a petulant child who's going to throw a fit right in your hands and not hit anything. Pokemon Monster, though. It does get two frags, but yeah, I mean, the retake wasn't really possible. The crossfires were set by Malhar. They got the site pretty, well, actually, absolutely cleanly. So, and yeah, I mean, I, 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 when I used to play professionally as well, right? The USP, when you were shooting somebody in the back, it's like the hitboxes don't exist. <laughs> Yeah, and the hitboxes at the back are messed up. Like, it's no fault of the players. Like, they're legit messed up. Like, you think you're hitting the head, but it's basically your bullets are bending space-time itself and being transported into another dimension for all the effect that they have. Pokemon is taking a little bit of chip damage from that nade, but nothing really to worry about. He can shrug that off. Uh, I, you know, it's a very curious buy that Portal does on their force on the force rounds, they almost always have a UMP out onto trans. I'm curious, I want to ask them, why is it that they do this? And it's yielded them a lot of dividends up until now. But I, I, I kind of don't agree as well, because look at that, three players on the Portal Esports side with this force by they don't have head armor, while three players on Mulhar's side have, have SMGs. That can absolutely wreck your wreck your defense, and uh, it is a four, almost a four-man stack, by the way, by Portal Esports towards the A bomb site. One player is going to be smoked off though, and HSB rattling off those eagle shots. It's going to be double naded, but finally he's taken down by Antidote. Criminal running through the smoke with a flash. It's not going to happen for him. The tr the, the cover is there. Faint's going to get a frag, but he's going to be oh. instantly traded as well. And that's a really really good hit coming in by Malhar. The trades were just were impeccable. The cover frag, the cover, right? When the yeah. teammates were flashed as well. It's absolutely brilliantly played. Muller has definitely put in some hours into this into this map. I think they've actually watched a little bit of Tai Lu from the recently concluded IEM Sydney. Because this is actually reminding me a lot of how they played Inferno. And truth be told, they played it phenomenally well. And now it's all down to Pokemon, sir. I think he, he's mainly going to look to save that armor and the deagle and take it into the next round. In, in, in all honesty, realistically, there's not much he can do. But Malhar, they just finally showed me that, you know, there's a team in the subcontinent that actually knows how to play the anti-eco properly, the anti-force, because that was picture perfect. One casualty shabby, and that too, he got immediately traded out. And the A defense, although Pes had gambled and had put four bodies in and around the A bomb site. They just got obliterated from the server. It was a joy to behold. Like it was such a well coordinated hit that, you know, it's like it looked effortless. And that's the level of play that you want to be achieving if you're gonna be calling yourself professional. Good on you, Malhar. That was that was a fantastic job. And as I say that, Portal Esports find themselves Wiped clean off the server. Everybody's dead. Again, Pokemon is like, huh? Wapis. It's like, well, he is it's like gonna, deja vu. Well, he does have the Deagle and armor, right? So he might want to try to save that armor, but nope, he doesn't want to do that. He wants to go and take a fight with Antidote instead, and he's going to get his head ripped off for that, for his troubles. And yeah, I mean, he could have saved that head armor. I mean, that uh, armor, right? Because look at it now. He doesn't have head armor anyway, but he has the M4. He could have, he could have bought a few more grenades. Uh, you know, instead of spending that six fifty dollars, and uh, Malhar now six rounds in the lead against Portal Esports. They're looking, they're looking like they're in the driver's seat. They look like they look like they like this map, and they look like they have PS's number at this point. But of course, this is the first gun round. This is the most important round in the game. 
And uh, it's a fast play coming in by Malar. Proud is just running in. Proud's gonna get a frag. He's finally gonna get traded out. Pokemonster, he has to fall back. And the A, bo the B bomb side is actually lost. And the C4 though, it's gonna go towards A. And and Portal Esports, they've completely rotated out. But now HSB, all right, he's he's waiting for the backstab. It's not gonna come. And now he he does have an inkling. He does have a feeling that something's wrong. Why hasn't the bomb plan come in? And he's going to spot out Antidote, but Antidote, he's going to say, nah, fam, it's all right. You might spot me, but you're down now. And the C4 plants, uh, C4 is going to come into the bomb side. It's going to be planted. And PES, they just have to save now. They've been bamboozled. What a fake. Like, what a fast, like, just, that was fast and furious. Proud just gunning it. Like, he held down W like there's no tomorrow. Got the opening frag onto the B bomb site. And then there was just no looking back. I don't know what Anakil smoked there, but okay. It's okay. He's the substitute. Yeah, that's true. But he's done his part. He's come in with some clutch kills at some clutch moments. But it has been the proud and antidote show so far. They, again, these two guys, the boys from Kolkata, leading from the front. Yeah, it's, it's the case for quite a few teams, right? Uh, there's another team with the two Kolkata boys. Uh, I don't know why AD, I'm having Death a brain Maker problem. and Hellfighter. Yes, AT, exactly. Uh, well, yeah, but when Deathmaker and Hellfighter kind of go off, that's when AT really shines, right? And it's the same case for, for Malhar, I guess. The Proud and Antidote leading the charge. But I really like that round by Malhar, by the way. They just sent two, both the SMGs straight into B with a couple of pop flashes and a smoke. And the Portal Esports was just dumbstruck. 13 to 6 now. Portal Esports, though, is going to force buy into this. And uh, they are going to go for some B aggression as well at this point. But Malhar, they're going for the quick wrap from second mid and middle. They're going to go for a fast mid play. Franz is going to fall back. He has heard the footsteps. Uh, and the thing is, Portal, they've taken a lot of nade damage. They've taken, like, Malhar have been able to chip away at their health with the early utility usage but in the meantime proud he has fallen to the hands of trans and anakil gonna go pushing up towards apartments map control has been completely relinquished by portal they're like okay we've got the man advantage we'll fall back and just trade play the numbers game but hsb needs to be careful and you're gonna compete with the flash and proud he's gonna ri rattle off a spray but trans he's gonna be the one with the hero plays gets three kills from the pit area and criminal with the final kill onto antidote and finally portal bringing to putting around on the board on their ct side this will give them some much needed confidence and hopefully they're able to claw their way back into this game we know that portal is a team that well they're notorious for their comebacks yesterday they almost had a miraculous like dream run of a comeback I think it was from what 13 2 or a, or a 12 3 half and they pulled it back to 13 rounds at the end there that was a very good run they had so clearly they're a team that have it in them i would say though that malhar is definitely a bigger challenge on inferno especially because portal esports is now on the cd side if malhar can control the pace it's not gonna happen and uh yeah i mean that that uh, comeback was almost possible but uh, again it was because a couple of individual plays by Intensity Pune 5 that they won those two CD rounds to close out the game but oop that Molotov is gonna miss uh, by Blackhawk a super general Molotov there uh, yeah I'm just gonna call a miss Molotov a super general Molotov by the way just because we had Nate King in chat a few weeks ago uh, <laughs> yeah but uh, Portal Esports right uh, again that round that they won that was because of heroics by trans you can't really rely on that round in round out to to pull you out of the hole but oop a molotov and a smoke going to the same position that's a little bit of a misplay but faint is going to be smoked out trans though with again the opening frag onto antidote the danger man taken out faint tries to come through the smoke gets a frag on a blackhawk but he's instantly traded by shabby who in turn is instantly traded by hsb and oh. proud though proud's like no i've had enough of this he takes down hsb and trans and now it's down to a 2v2 the bomb is going to get planted in the safe position. And Pokemonster and Criminal, they do have a little bit of utility to work with. They are going to come in for the retake. And Proud, though, is going to get taken down. He over overreaches, overextends. He had no reason to, poke, uh, to peek there, but Pokey is going to get taken down by Anakil. And Anakil with another 1v2 victory. This man, he is so clutch today. 
Yeah, and a killer. He's like, okay, I don't really get, you know, the chance to show off my skills much anymore. And a killer. He was a regular feature last year uh, in the Shooting Monkeys lineup, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he was pretty consistently god tier for them. But this year, I think halfway through last year, he decided to step down, take a step back, focus on some personal matters. And I'm glad to see that he's back in the top tier of Indian or the subcontinental Counter Strike in this case, because, you know, Portal is from Pakistan. And man's coming out hot. Man is hot. He's come out of the gate swinging and trance. Oh, HSB looks over at his teammate like, mate, you all right there, mate? That looked like it hurt. <laughs> that definitely hurt. And uh, yeah, I mean, about Anikal, right? It's, it's something like, say, like, skill is permanent. And criminal, he's going to get pushed back from the position now. HSB, that was going to get a frag onto <laughs> the Blackhawk, and he's going to escape with his life as well. They're trying to hunt him down. Trans is uh, in an interesting position right now. Actually, he can get two frags off the back of this. Anikal, though, he's looking the wrong way. He is going to get taken down by Trans, but Trans on six points of health. He's lost HSB as well. The, pr the plants come in as well. Proud again with two frags. He loves that library position, doesn't he? And uh, again, it's 2v3 retake now for Portal Esports. Are they going to go in for this? They shouldn't go in for this because Trans, should, he's on six points of health. It's as good as a 1v3 retake. But they are going to go in for this. They're not going to fight for the overtime. Oh! And Pokemonster through the smoke. He's going to take down Antidote. Oh! He's going to take down Proud as well. And he's going to take down Shabby. 3-1 digs. What the hell just happened there? Okay then. Gotta catch them all. Nope, nope. Pokemon is like, gonna wreck them all. Gonna wreck them all. Headshots for days, Adi. Headshots for days. That's what happened. Pokemon's to just making it rain. And Portal Esports find themselves with a, with a highly unlikely 8th round. Yeah, and Portal Esports on the back of that, they're taking a timeout. They want Pokemon to calm down a little bit. Not get, you know, the adrenaline starts pumping, right? You want it to, you want it to simmer down a little bit before you go into this next round. So it's a good time to take a time out. And they can, of course, uh, they can decide what to do with, uh, with all this newfound utility that, uh, that they have, they, they kind of lacked on their CD side, actually, because of the way their money has been. And Malar Esports, they're going to be scratching their heads. It's a good time out for them as well to discuss that, you know, guys, it's okay. It's individual brilliance. You can't do anything about that. Our, our, games, our game plan's been working out. So let's not change anything. Huh. Sorry, I was just, you know, wetting the palate there. Grabbing a drink of water. It is really hot in my room with the fan switched off right now. And Blackhawk again opening things up. And this time, it is... Well, he gets the kill on the Danger Man himself, Pokemonster. And they're taken out of the round early. That's going to be a bit problematic for Portal Esports, considering how clutch Pokemon was in the previous round. Yep, and I, I think that uh, that shot was through, through the smoke as well. Just the random spam that's always laid down right towards the, the previous car position is like what we like to call it. So a little bit of unfortunate, a like, little bit of uh, misfortune for Pokemonster there. Again now though, Portal Esports' defense has been split into two and two, while HSB though, he is rotating towards the A bomb site, so they will have a little bit of a better defense towards this bomb site. But the C4 might just go towards the B bomb site. Antidote, he's gonna get two frags from the middle position. That's a brilliant peek. HSB is gonna come out of the smoke, but he's gonna get only one. He's gonna be traded by Proud again, and now. It's gonna be it's gonna be the harshest reset possible on the worst round possible for Portal Esports, unless of course Criminal suddenly decides to uh, channel his inner Pokemonster and pick up a one v four. I mean, doesn't look like it. First of all, he doesn't have a Deagle. Second of all, I shall shut up. I shall shut up. And he does get the first clutch. frag, yes. And he, okay, he's gonna get a second as well. Proud. He's gonna get a little overzealous there, but the backstab is in Anikil. He's gonna get the frag on a Criminal. I have no idea why Proud would push through the smoke there because they had the backstab coming in. <laughs> I get blood rushing to the head, right? Kind of yeah. happens. To the head, to the heart, to everywhere. Well, out the heart, to the head, but anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a biology student. I'm not a science student, so... It's okay. Don't it's ask okay. me how blood works. You got the gist of it correct. 
it's Adi. Adi, I'm proud of you. You tried. <laughs> but I yeah, am. I, mean, I am a biology student, so I I can attest that. Yeah, you got the gist of it more or less accurate. At Malar, anyways, fifteen to eight now. Match point, and look at the buy coming in from Portal Esports. It's it's piss poor basically. Pokemonster is going to be taken down again. Is that through the smoke? Yes, it is. Why would you be in that position again? Fade's gonna get a frag though. Trans though, elsewhere on the map, he's got two frags. Pushing through the smoke, he's got a third on Proud. What the hell is happening? Anakil's gonna fall down as well. Oh my god, that's just, that round has just fallen apart for Malhar. Anakil just felt the power of double penetration there. Like one in the front, one in the back, and it was a bit too much oh. for him to take, and he collapses to the ground listlessly. Life, you know, leaving his body. And I think Trance just pulled, like, channeled his inner Tarek there because that is something I've seen. That is a play I've seen Tarek yeah, do uh -uh, time and time uh -uh, again on his uh -uh. streams. No, no, no. We that that play is only by the smoke criminal himself. No, no, no. Stewie, Stewie doesn't do that. do that. It's actually Tarek who does that on his streams over and over again. Yeah, well, I watch but, them. Yeah, but FPL and this is this is a Premiership game, bro. This is an FPL, and he isn't simple. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Malhar now on the eco round. It's basically a throwaway round coming in by them. They just want to reset now. They're going to get the guns coming out in the next round. And this will be a good round for them to simmer down as well. They're going to walk up middle though. They're not going to see anyone until they until they finally... Tabby though, the lurk being, uh, being found out by HSB. Criminal with a very, very poor flash. Still, <laughs> he's just going to have to fall back now. He's not going to get the frag off the back of that trance though. Well, faint rather, he's in, in for the frags as well. Gonna get one on an antidote. HSB is gonna find Proud looking uh, looking into the wall. Yeah, and one could almost say that flashbang was criminal. Yeah. <laughs> Puns for days. <laughs> but Trans is gonna finish off this round. Again, it was a throwaway round. And it is 15 to 10 towards PES. But Malhar, they've looked so strong. They've looked really strong. Some of these rounds coming in by PES, actually all of these rounds coming in by PES on the CD side, have been individual brilliance. It hasn't been, you know, perfect crossfires or something like that. It's just been individual brilliance. So I, I don't even think that Malhar really needs to adjust and uh, they're gonna actually just uh, force buy into this one AK onto Antidote and uh, they're gonna equalize their money. And I like that by them. They want they want to take everything into the next round. So why not? Ooh. Well, okay, that happened. And Poke monster, <laughs> trying to. Trying to aggress, but uh, he just failed there, unfortunately for him. Not aggression catching uh, one player from Malhar a bit off guard, but Trans, he's able to pop Antidote's cherry, rather his dome. And Trans, yes, smokes himself off. I think that smoke hit An Anakil, by the way. I don't think it's his fault. That's just, he must be wondering, wait, what the hell? And uh, <laughs> two AKs recovered, though, for the T side. They can put in a little bit of economic damage, by the way. You can see the money on PES's side. It's not that great. And they have no, no utility left, basically. Just three flashbangs. And... Uh, HSB though, he's sitting in a bit of an off angle. He might get, he might catch Blackhawk off guard. Oop. He, well, he shoots too early though. He's gonna come out though. He's gonna get a frag onto Anakil. He was the low player, but he's gonna be traded out by Shabby. And uh, there is a smoke and a Molotov as well onto the T side. They could actually get into this bomb site. Shabby, please use that Molotov. The pop flash though comes in. Paint does peek out. And the backstab is in though. Trance is gonna get the frag. Shabby again with the trade, but criminal is gonna be there. But a lot of economic damage coming out. Uh, but fortunately, Trans and HSB are swimming in money. They're gonna be able to drop over a few guns. HSB actually, nope. He's just like, oh, I want the op. And uh, it's actually a lot more utility on the PES than I thought. No, and something that mystifies me was that Antidote went for that AK buy in the previous round, and now this round he's going to have to make his peace with, well, no helmet, for one. A Deagle, yes, he does have a lot of utility, so he should be the designated support player for this round and look to pick up a gun from one of his fallen comrades, but... I mean, I don't know. What, what was the... 
that point of that AK, that previous shot. I'll tell it, you. I'll tell you the point. Actually, it was they wanted to put in the monetary damage. That's it. But unfortunately, that AK couldn't do much. And even though it came down to just two players alive on PES, the two players alive on PES were the two players who had actually a lot of money going into that. So they, the, hence they dropped over two guns, and all the uh, you know everything's been everything all the utility has been bought up on PES. It's just unfortunate. I can I can see and I can appreciate the thinking behind it, mm -hmm. but unfortunately it just didn't work out because of the way the kills went and the you know the the frags that were had. <laughs> Anakil, oh, he's, he's stuck trapped. between a yeah rock and a hard place. Like there's lava everywhere, and he's just gonna pray that he doesn't catch a stray bullet with his face. But again, a turtle setup coming in by Port, by Portal Esports. And uh, a full executor uh, could actually be on the cards, but a little bit of aggression coming in by HSB. He's going to try to get the first frag there. He's going to get it onto Anakil, unsuspecting of that angle. The trade, unfortunately, doesn't come in either. And HSB does get away with his life now that they have the man advantage. Now they can play this turtle setup to perfection. And that is what is except the extremely important with the double turtle setup is that you have that man advantage and the rotation that's coming in from faint is also extremely crucial right now because criminal can actually bait and Pokemon to getting that kill. Well, it's just gonna he's just gonna hold down left mouse button and wipe out everybody in his crosshairs. But now Shabby, he's in a 1v2. We've seen him pull off the miraculous time and time again, last year with Eternal and this year with Malhar over and over again. Can he do it once more? It's match and map point for Malhar. If they lose this, they still, they still have, they'll still have a couple of map points remaining. So there's still time for them, uh, you know, to see the map of Trans playing it very carefully. Oh, Smart smoke. Uh, doesn't matter. Trans is just waiting, marking the edge of that smoke. I, I, and the second Shabby peaked, it was night, night, Irene. I have a few questions, by the way, about pro evolution. Pro evolution! God damn it! Uh, I'm going to have them change their name. Uh, Portal Esports is mid to left setup, by the way, the arch setup. Even though Pokemon Sir came in with the triple frag, right? With the 3k from the from the shelter position, their mid to left defense with the two member with two members there absolutely capitulated. There was I have no idea what happened there, and uh, I hope Malhar continues asking the questions of them. By the way, and uh, this buy though coming in by Malhar, it's uh, it's a little bit questionable. Yeah, I mean, there's no need to force the issue right now. Again, antidote. He'll have to take one for the team, run the utility setup because right now, oh my god, okay, uh, yeah, okay, he doesn't get head armor. <laughs> Not a big fan of the fact that Antidote is going without helmet. I mean, I'd rather he'd, he'd have an ump, full utility along with the Kevlar and helmet. But then... he, he is your second top fragger, right? So you want him to be on the AK. I would rather have somebody who's like sort of lower down in the pecking order maybe yeah. like blackhawk or shabby drop him the ak and take the bullet there but anyway like it's the little things but pro evolution i'm gonna call the pro evolution now because Ooh. i just like that name much better but ended out there with that ak making it sing portal esports are gonna lose the man advantage and uh and yeah finally malhar in the driver's seat again in a round after after quite a while by the way EES though, they have rotated three players over to the A bomb site. And again, the question is going to be asked by Malhar towards the mid to left oh. position, and the question is not going to be answered by Faint. He instead is going to get a bullet to the face by Antidote. Antidote is going to be taken down finally by Criminal, sitting at that off angle. Trans by the from the pit, he's wreaking havoc right now. Blackhawk going to get the trade finally, and it does look like Malhar is going to pick up the round. But Criminal does take one before he goes down, and HSB is now in a 1v2 situation. Two AKs versus the AWP. The AWP is not the best rifle to roll. Okay, Proud, he's just gonna peek out. He's gonna take down HSB. He's gonna close it out for, Port for Malhar. Portal Esports with a valiant, valiant effort. The comeback was almost real, but unfortunately for them, 
Muller Esports was a little bit too much for them. Any closing thoughts, Fred? Well, again, I just feel so bad for Portal Esports. Coming so close to overtime, yet not being able to take it all the way. Malhar Esports, credit where credit is due. This is by far the best. Live. Welcome back to the studio segment of the ESL India Premiership 2018 Summer Season Masters League. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what that's what is called some real intense action when it comes to CSGO. What an amazing game, Angie. I mean, I think I think Portal Esports is slowly and steadily developing a habit for yeah. the viewers to expect them to make a comeback when you least expect them to. True. And then some. I, I now this is what I refuse to understand. What makes them stop from going forward, from crossing that bridge? Yesterday too, till thirteen. Like after getting a point, game point of thirteen, they lost. Today too, from like the dungeons, they reached the second floor of that mansion which they yeah. were supposed to conquer, but couldn't reach the third floor. So good, so close, but yet not there. And uh, it's a little surprising. I mean, uh, either we have not understood Sportly Esports gameplay because if they were so easily be able to defeat a team like Entity Gaming, I expected them to do much better be against teams that are sitting 7th and 8th. Yeah, either yeah. that our boys who are sitting at the 8th and the ninth spot are just so interested. They have that blood to just kill. And that's what's driving them in every single game. While Entity Gaming, like you said, they're always sitting on the top. There's this, uh, you know, this expectation. And they're like, yeah, we'll deliver, we'll deliver. But when you're sitting in the eighth and ninth, you have to keep performing in every single game. You keep practicing harder and harder. You keep studying harder and harder. And even we talk about Fed, he said that uh, maybe Malhar took a word or two from Tyler's gameplay in the IEM Sydney. And I think that is also something to be duly noted. I mean, when you're continuously studying, you tend to play better. And I think Malhar is proving it then and again, not even Malhar. Hard, even intensity Pune 5 we talk about any team that's sitting on a low bracket they want to make it to the top and that fight and that will to do that is kind of pushing them every single time to study gameplay and portal I think that's why they're suffering because they studied the entity beautifully well knowing that they're the best team but then also they felt at the same time that you know okay we have defeated the best I guess the rest are just easy you know we'll be able to do it and they're not really bothered studying the rest of the teams and that is what the indian teams are taking into consideration yeah they're, 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 they're taking advantage of this fact that portal esports knows how to take on biggies yeah but it's the small piranhas now this big shark is trying to like <laughs> getting they're like they are it's the small piranhas which is like putting down this big shark here yeah Ah, that's wonderful. Well, that's uh, that's uh, that's what we had for you guys from today's CSGO game. In fact, let's move on to the standings of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. We'll get a deeper insight of uh, how the standings look like. Invictus Entity, Brutality, top three. Nice. SRA, IP5, Portal. Next three, four, fifth, sixth position. Portal Esports still have so much more to do. They are seven games down. They still have some leg space there. Too Easy Gaming, more leg space. Too Easy are at five games played, three wins, two losses. Malhar follows Too Easy at the eighth position, just above the red line there because ATE, ARTE, WAC, Band and War are going to face the Axe soon enough if they do not up their ante. But again, again, it's just going to be between Malhar and ATE and Iyati. War Gaming and WAC Band, I, do, I suspect them to do much considering yeah. the score line but ladies and gentlemen that's what we have for you guys from the standings remember this is the esl india premiership 2018 brought to you by omen by hp hyperx and intel and presented by norton gaming we'll be back again with some dota